Hey guys, Silent Zero here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. So this episode, we are going to try to attain Gengar uh, and hopefully try to tackle a bit of the challenge cards as well because we are very close to the end date of Gengar's event. Um, basically, for this episode, I'm recording on the 15th, so there's only mm, technically three days left. So definitely more than enough time to get Gengar and of course uh, complete maybe two or three of the cards and of course we're getting notifications of a brand new friend um, from the Gala region <laughs> so yes if you have not played the mainstream Pokemon games I'm sure you have no idea why this slowpoke has like a golden hint on its head and its tip of the tail well basically it's the uh, Galarian form slowpoke from the Pokemon Sword and Shield series uh, DLC content. So yeah, definitely we are getting a brand new friend. But let's see, is he a regular event Pokemon? Or is he a, you know, team working? Uh, oh, Gluttonous Galarian Slowpoke. So we need team members to help attain this Slowpoke. Ah. Uh, Okay, so they're re rotating between the regular event and the raid style event. So that's pretty nice. Uh, get a some decent pacing on, in the game. That is, if you guys are still playing Pokemon Cafe Mix, I am. As you can tell, my content has been consistent. Although the people are watching the content hasn't been very consistent. So if you guys are still watching this, I really appreciate it that you guys have stuck around for this many episodes. Although we are kind of pacing ourselves a bit slow in terms of all the orders that are currently available in the game. So let's take a, um, take a look at the challenge card. So we have, haven't gotten um, Gengar to join, but we did get all the megaphones cleared because I have been playing all the invites dailies, uh, you know, just to gain all the acorns and all the good stuff. Um, while not trying to touch the regular stages that are currently available because this game account basically is just for that. <laughs> Alright, so start things off, let's open up the invite. Ooh, we have Gengar there already, so instantly with the invitations, we can get Gengar to join us and then hopefully um, try to get him to level 2, which is one of the missions for the cards as usual. So let's do this. Okay, so we need our green little friend. I still can't remember her name. Steeny? I don't know. 80,000? Mm -hmm. Okay, so nothing too annoying. Um, but I remember that this is one of those stages that is very tight on moves available. So we have to play this carefully. We need to power up her skill um, to, to, you know, get the best range. So let's pop up the Mayonnaise nice bubbles that are on the top. Because that's usually hard to get to once. Okay, so here we go. There we go, we got plenty of good range. Let's destroy all that is available. Okay, we have to get rid of all the caramels too. Okay, so we don't have a lot of range here, but we need to get rid of the chestnuts, so let's do this. Okay, and now, just to do the usual things, destroy the caravans. Okay, let's conserve. Um, Power-up skill. Oh, we missed out on the caravan, that's fine. Okay, let's do this. So we only got two more moves after this. Yep, fantastic that the um the megaphone actually helped us out. Okay. Okay, we have a problem. So let's push them here. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh god, I missed one! I missed one! <laughs> Uh, if not, we would have ended perfectly. Like I said, this is one of those stages that is just really tight on the moves. Um, so pay attention to this stage if you ever encounter it, especially if you're going to the Master Class 
uh, section of the game. Um, so yeah, don't want to end up spending 900 acorns just like what I'm doing now, just to get rid of one caramel. Oh god, okay. Alright, let's move along. And here comes Gengar! Tap, tap, tap. I don't know what kind of costume he'll wear. Whoa, there is one huge apron. <laughs> Surprisingly, he can go around his waist. Because Gengar is a big boy. Okay, Starly for this. So hopefully the 2 star level isn't too difficult. Because the first level was already disastrous enough. Alright. Make sure we tap that piping bag to get all the wood things out. As many of the snubbles as possible. Alright, let's clear three of these. So we can get this for icons. There you go, some decent help with the megaphones. Okay, let's get all the good things out if possible. Alright. Alright. We got a decent amount of help with the megaphones. Alright, we should have gotten all um, the whipped cream is out, but well, let's just clear the food can plus some of the whipped creams here. We need that megaphone count as well. So let's just get a whole bunch of Starly again. Uh, of course, let's destroy the whipped creams. Let's push them all together. Hopefully a megaphone has to destroy it. Yes, there we go. So we got a very nice finished amount of moves remaining. There we go, lots of wonderful acorns to our acorn wallet. And Gengar gets a bit more stars towards level 2. Alright, so now that we have Gengar joined the star, let's clear out the first card. Alright, so from here on we need to use Gengar, well, the Gengar skill at least, for 6 times. So let's... Oh, I wasn't planning to tap that, but okay. Moving on with the regular stages, let's get Gengar going. Um, Boba Fett does summon up skills for with megaphones, so I think Gengar does the same. So clears icons, gimmicks, and X pattern, and then creates megaphones. So yeah, definitely Gengar is um, usable to clear this level because I'm sure one of the requirements requires megaphones to be used. There we go. Ooh, 15 megaphones. Okay. So we don't see egg baskets a lot unless they're all hiding in the um, Mayonis bubbles. Yeah, it seems like majority of them are in the Mayonis bubbles. Okay, we do have one three outside, so we can start by making use of it. And of course, making sure we clear out, um, you know, the Mayonis and Caramels. Oh, that's only two megaphones for skill, so it's not a lot. We might have a problem. Okay, so making sure we cover as much ground. Go. Mentinos. Okay, so one of the Naomi's brothers are still tight. Okay, there we go. So let's get a Genga. So we don't really need to bother with the uh, bubbles anymore, so it's just a majority of casting uh, megaphones. Okay. There we go. 
We are still short of a lot of megaphones though. Problem. Yep, still short of a lot. Is it worth the 900 though? Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna give this a try. Um, there's a lot of Starly, so let's make use of Starly to gain another skill from Vika. Okay, this might be a problem. Oh, I'm only worried, yeah, we are not going to do it. So, this is gonna be a very expensive run, we're gonna end up paying for the second round of, um, you know, retries. 1300 plus the previous 900 I usually don't recommend this but when it comes to clearing mission cards it can get very expensive unless you're the patient kind that doesn't mind spending the time to re re um, wait for the regeneration of the hearts and of course you change to the recommended Pokemon for the level and redo the stage you know but for me you know, creating content. We need to shorten the video's length as much as we can. So, very painful on the wallet. Uh, so let's just do this. We have five megaphones just like this. And last one, just like that. So very expensive stage. Just to get the mission clear. I think we used up six skills, did we? No, apparently not. Oh, you needed four. Aw. Alright. Onwards with more Gengar. And after this we probably could use the recommended Pokemons instead of Gengar. Okay. So right here we just need to clear as many icons as possible to get the skill up. There we go. Do we need to power up Gengar's skill? I don't think so. But we could try. I mean, it's an X Factor. So, we got. Should I target the tree pump in this one? Nice, decent help with the megaphones. So Gengar is technically not the best Pokemon to use for this level. X shape is not very helpful. But luckily enough, um, there is a megaphone backup from Gengar skill, so I'm kind of happy that that exists. Um, the only problem is, yeah, oh, we can actually squeeze through. <laughs> Uh, we lose the megaphone help because there's no icons there, so that's kind of a bummer. Okay, let's squeeze through. Oh, we can't squeeze all the way to the chocolate, so that's a problem. Okay, hopefully turn some of the icons nearby. Oh. Okay, so. We definitely can clear this level with a 900 um, Acorn Redemption. Uh, just like I said, clearing mission cards is very expensive. So I'm just gonna do this for the sake of the mission cards. Uh, the tomatoes are all in. Just gonna destroy the pumpkin and we are done! Oh boy. Do not do this if you can't afford the acorns. <laughs> Oh, uh, look at our acorn drop in large quantities. Holy crap. Just for the mission card, man, it's just not worth it. Okay, but we can finally stop using Gengar. Finally. <laughs> Let's go back to the recommended Pokemon. Alright, with Skoto, this is going to be easy. I hope. Uh, the only problem is the shifting of the mixing items. Okay, so let's get Squirtle going. We need to upgrade the veggies. We need to power up Squirtle's skill. There we go. So let's try 
not to mess this up too bad. Okay, now that we have this, let's destroy all the olives. Fantastic. Okay, let's get in there, let's set the mixers free. At the same time, we need to start pushing all the milk canisters in there. Okay. Push them in. It's really difficult to push them in. Maybe I should pull the milk canisters out. Done. They are going in completely in the way that I want it to. Now the only problem is the vegetable crates. So that's an issue. Okay. Can we get rid of the icon so that they can join together? There we go. And now let's get a whole bunch of squirtles just to clear the veggies. And we're good! So not the best end result we could have ended a bit earlier, but still, a clear is a clear, don't have to waste more acorns, and Blossom gets to level 2! Decent progress for this episode? That's, that's good. Okay, who's next? Now we're making use of our brand new level up Blossom. Ooh. Okay, so the popcorns are on the other side. Oh, there is a megaphone requirement. So I'm gonna pay attention to that. Okay. There we go, we've got the skill going. Um, let's set these marshmallows up here so that we can get the popcorns flowing in. Okay. Alright, let's get rid of all the meow. Icons, because there's just too many of them. More than enough to actually set free. Still. Alright. Since they're in that corner, um, they're gonna be stuck there. So we're gonna have an easier time, technically, destroying. All the stuff that requires destruction. Okay. And now we just need points and hopefully not move the popcorn kernels too far. Because we just need to destroy these and we're done. Simple as that. But you know, I'm just tight on the moves remaining. So gotta be careful with what you need to do. Oh, that looks so good. I would like a cup right now. Alright, mission is cleared. So we just got to clear 11 more stages before that cart is completed. Okay. Okay, so you got to be careful with the bubble can fruit. Um, yeah, wait, let's get rid of all the honey first. There we go. Okay. Stop them. Let's set some fruit cans free. Oh! How did the fruit cans get up, end up destroying? Is it because of the placements of the other fruit cans? That ended up destroying them. Interesting. Okay, this is kind of stuck, so a bit of a waste. Shouldn't have touched it. Yeah. Okay, so let's get all the foot cans out. Now let's make use of this skill. Can we do a three lane target? We can. Oh, that was not very effective. <laughs> okay. Um, stolen. There we go. Maybe let's 
Let's freeze over here. Destroy a bit of that sugar cube. Oh no. Bad placing. Oh, this is not looking good. Not looking good at all. Okay. Um, yes, we need this. Can we do a... No. Two. We probably should have reached out for the far end one. Oh, that was such a waste of a move. Okay, this this try is definitely gone down the sinkhole. So let's retry this level and not waste the acorns. What a waste of a play. <laughs> oh well, we have our bad base. Okay, let's cover as much of the honey as possible. Alright, set free all the chickens. There we go. A bit of a jam, but not too bad. Let's, let's get rid of the sugar cubes so we can combine more egg, uh, icons for the score. There we go. Okay, we're gonna power up uh, Buizo's skill because um, it has a longer reach. And we can probably clear most of the I hope we can. There we go. Very nice. Okay. All the honey is gone. And we just need a regular megaphone. Oh wait, we still need score. Oh darn. Okay. Probably give me something with a longer range so that more icons can get destroyed and give us that score that we require. And I apologize for that Apple Watch charging notification. That is one of the only notifications you can't turn off um, with the Do Not Disturb mode. <laughs> okay. Get friendship bonus. Ooh. Let's go, let's go! That's at least only on a one star level. It'd be nice to have Minum and Plusso join us soon. Okay. Let's get one flex then. And touch as many of the cheese walls as possible because we want more space um, for icons to come. There we go. Pretty decent. Destruction. Alright. Let's get in there. We've got one acorn at least. I mean, just one. Okay, that was not a very good placing of the megaphone. Oh well. There goes Candy Chooses. It's all RNG anyway. So. Okay, let's try to get as many of the items close as possible. Um, let's try and push them closer with more small uh, munchlex icons. And once we do that, let's power things up. Destroy all the chestnuts at this point. Very nice. Okay, so can we clear the majority of the pumpkins? Yes, we can. How about the chestnuts? Can we, can we push the chestnuts closer? No. Okay, we're just gonna destroy um, the pumpkin first because we can. There we go. That's what we need. I'm um, just gonna push this a bit closer so we can guarantee our finish. Megaphones. That's it. All right. Not that difficult a level. Just make sure you gather all the yummy stuff together and just book that all with the skill. <laughs> Alright, getting closer to getting minum. There we go. Executor. There's a lot of stages that require Pokemon with megaphone skills. That's a bit worrying. Luckily, Genga is kind of a megaphone Pokemon. But you know, if you're playing on the later levels, you might face a tougher situation because of what the levels require you to clear the stage with. 
So let's charge up Executor's um, skill because the positions the bubblegum trap chocolate pieces it is in are kind of technically good positions where this skill comes in. So we just need to do the same thing again to power up Executor's skill. Um, at the same time, we need to pay attention to the vegetable crate, so we are technically just one vegetable crate, so we are more than good. Okay, so we just need to power up execute the skill, and we are done! So, same thing. Simple level! Not too complicated, as long as you don't accidentally push around the bubblegum icons too far away from range. Nicely. Ooh. Nice that the piping bags are like holding the destroying icons. Okay, so we don't really need to power up Michino's um, skill. But it would be nice if we can target a two lane um, destruction because. We do need to get the good things out from the piping bag, so that is generally important as well. Okay, let's get a bit of the process going. Nice. Um, yeah, we have a decent amount of Chino skills, I mean icons going around, so we can make use of that all. Okay, we missed out on one of the popcorns, that's fine. Here we go, destroying a bunch of things at one go. Um, yeah, there's a lot of Starly, so let's make use of Starly's icons to get more whipped creams out. And that's all the whipped cream out of the bags, so let's just go ahead and gather a whole bunch of icons. So we need to gather all the whipped creams at the bottom of the screen so that we can use Michino's skill to technically just destroy everything. And that's it. Simple as that. Let gravity do its thing. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Charmander. Lots of long range skills going on right now. chocolate okay um, we do have eggs so we need to be careful with the amount of eggs that we need to destroy as well okay we definitely need to power up Charmander's skill so let's just lay all the icons on the floor so we can slowly destroy our way to victory we go so we got Charmander still powered up let's destroy the whole maybe top row oh god I missed out one row oh, that's horrible that's okay there we go lots of minums alright munch lexus Okay, we've got our skill charged up, so let's try oh, we should have targeted the whole range of the eggs though. That's a bummer. It's okay. Okay, making sure we do clear the score requirement as well. And all we have to do now is play this. Clear the stage, but we used up all the moves. That's fine. That's the main objective of this game anyway.
Hey, see our big boy Gengar getting the friendship bonus? That's gonna help us get him to level 2 much faster. Really appreciate this happening. You don't get to see this often. <laughs> Where the main event Pokemon gets a friendship bonus. Okay, last level. Let's do our best. We're gonna get 9 stars if we do this well. That's a lot of stars. Sadly, the Grand Prix event is no longer around. Such a shame. Okay. 100,000? Hmm. Where are the tomatoes though? Probably in the mayonnaise um, bubbles. So, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to be moving all the mayonnaise bubbles around. So, we do need to set free the baskets. So let's just use the unpowered up Pikachu skill to try and destroy as many of the hit canisters as possible. Okay, um, at the same time, we have to set free all the Mayonnaise items that's going around. Okay, clearing as much as we can. There we go. Gotta mix the stuff too. So that's a problem. Okay, we going around. Stuff. There we go. Yep. We gotta make sure we clear all the canisters. Okay. There we go, fantastic. So we do need to be careful on the mixing items right now. We're running a bit of low on moves. this together all right so it seems like Eevee's got a lot of icons going so uh oh oh thank goodness oh my heart almost stopped for a moment <laughs> i was so worried that we wouldn't get the mixing items together that was really lucky <laughs> Let me know your thoughts about that finish in the comments down below. Have you encountered such scenarios yourself? Oh god, I don't have to pay 900 acorns for these 9 stars. Look at that! Oh my goodness! That is a lot of stars. And with that, we've come to the end of another episode. Let's keep things short and simple because you guys can't bear to watch an hour long episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. So a half an hour episode is definitely more than enough. And I'll try to do more of these frequently because, you know, delaying gameplay sometimes is a bit risky for a YouTuber. We might end up missing events if we have, don't really have a lot of time to do um, stuff. So, <laughs> anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. If you guys enjoyed yourself, let me know by hitting the like button on this video, comment your thoughts on the orders available, what you think of Gengar's skill, and what you think of that finish on this video. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new to the channel, and make sure you check out all my other content that is not Pokemon Cafe Mix. Uta Macross and all the other good jazz and I'll see you guys in the next video sometime soon or maybe another game hmm what could it be bye